Hi! Today I want to talk to you about branding. Um, and branding is something, it's not marketing. Marketing is how you apply the branding. Um, branding is a clear message to everybody that's watching, listening, about in this scenario, this case, who you are. Um, it's not just the logo either. Um, I want you to, if you close your eyes and you think of, like, let's say, The Gap, what do you think of? What is their brand? Their brand is comfortable, easygoing, well-made clothes. You see the navy blue and white sign, about a square shape. That's the logo. Um, their models are usually just, like, really carefree, good-looking, easygoing. Gap. Victoria's Secrets. I mean, come on, what is their brand? Think of, think of all the things that come to your mind. McDonald's, you know, what is their brand? It's, they're not doing, you know, I heard, have heard of some branches, but they're not doing pizza, they're not doing like a million other things, at least they shouldn't. Um, they need to be consistent. You, they, you need to know what to expect from a brand. One of my favorite brands is Kate Spade. I love Kate Spade. Um, got Kate Spade earrings on. She, her earrings even, like, you know that the, these big studs, like, that's one of her things. Qu you know, quality purses. Lots of black and white prints. Really flirty, catchy, fun phrases. Um, bright pops of color. Um, you're not going to go into a Kate Spade and, you know, find, like, juicy couture kind of stuff. Like, that's not their brand. And the best Chanel, Gucci, I mean... The best companies have a strong brand, and the brand isn't just the products, because you don't want your brand to be like, pump it up and just like drinking shakes all the time. That's not your brand. Like that's not attractive to people. You need to have something clear and concise that shows who you are, and how these things, this fitness and Shakeology, fits into your brand and fits into who you are. Okay, so. Ways you can do that are simple. Um, one is just selfies and visual stuff. Who do you want to show that you are? Now, one of the things I love about Beachbody is that you don't have to be perfect. I mean, my hair is a little bit crazy, but I tried. Okay, if I, <laughs> most days I am just like, kind of look a mess. Um, probably in my workout clothes most of the day with the kids. Um, and I like, I love Beachbody because I can be that way sometimes, but I will say that before I do my workout, I'll put on mascara and like some type of tinted um, lip stuff so that when I do do the selfie later that shows I worked out, I look a little bit better than the four hour sleep that I got. Um, so my brand I would say is I like fashion, I like beauty, I want to talk about that, but I'm also a mom of five and I want to be real. So it's kind of the dichotomy between that. Um, another thing is colors. You can even associate colors. This is a, something very subtle, okay? You're not going to be like, my power color is. Um, but I use on, if you look at my blog website, like a water color palette um, of aquas and like a light pink. Um, and I also like a lot of black and white um, quotes and that kind of thing. So when I'm looking for motivational quotes to post, ideally, now this isn't all the time. We're people, okay? We're not like products or, but I try to look for like black and white ones. I like like pretty, like that watercolor writing um, or just like a strong print. I have fonts that I always use. So when I'm putting using like over to write a font over a graphic or a picture, I use the same font. And I usually use black, gray, or yellow for like my over ones. Um, so just think like consistency, okay? Because you, they need to know what to expect from you. Um, so like I said, even colors. If I have, I have um, like a background that I even use, um, on a lot of the posts that I do that's kind of like a watercolored um, background that that's that's the one I use so um, if you're like flirty and like cursive and that kind of thing 
then pick the font, like pick what it is, and just use that. And that's an easy way that you can reinforce your brand. One thing is you need to pick about five things that you are about um, and that you're going to talk about a lot um, so that your Facebook and social media feeds aren't all over the place. So I do like beauty because I like makeup and hair products and talking about that. Um, I family because a lot of my pictures are of my kids. A lot of times because I look so bad, I don't want to be in them. Um, fitness, obviously. Now, all I do right now is beach body workouts. If I didn't have five kids, I probably would do so. I would try to do like running or biking or play basketball or something like that. And so then I would show that. Like that's awesome if you have something that you're supplementing your workout with. So talk about that. Like let more different types of um, fitness be one of your things. Um, I talk about healthy foods, clean eating. I do a lot of recipes. I'll take pictures. Um, and post recipes for maybe the 21 day fix or just clean eating. And then I do quick mom tips. Um, it could be like how to do laundry, like laundry organization or um, now what, which other ones have I done? Oh, like how to pre-make a ton of breakfast sandwiches. Um, to give an idea like that. Different things that I've like looked up on Pinterest that have helped me. Um, and I've just got my camera phone and I'm like, Psh, I can do a post about that. Psh. And so sometimes I'll just do it real quick. Other times I'll wait. Um, but those are kind of my five things. So that's what people should expect from me. Um, if you have a degree, let's say in nutrition, then ding, ding, that's yours. My husband's a nurse. So once he gets active into the coaching side, I want him to be an authority on health and new research that he's seen. I'm informing because he is an expert. So if you have, Lindsay's a hairdresser, so I keep like saying, Lindsay, we need hair tutorials because the common folk don't know what to do with their hair like um, every day kind of thing. So be an expert on certain things and don't be an expert on something you're not an expert on or you don't really know. Make it really natural because then you're going to want to do that. Um, you're also going to, so with, with your brand, you want to add value to people's lives, okay? You're going to basically be an expert on some of these areas, and then you want to add value. So when I write posts about quick mom tips, um, I am. I'm pretty efficient. I'm a pretty much an expert at being efficient and juggling a lot of things. So I, that's kind of my expertise, and so I want to add value to other people. They, nobody has five kids, like, and two babies. That's not my audience. My audience is anybody that can be helped by the information. Um, you know, I'm not, like, a master chef. I get my ideas from Pinterest, and then I'll just tweak it so it's for the 21-day fix or so it's an ingredient that I have. But that's, that's what people can expect from me. And people knowing what to expect from you is going to make them feel safe and it's going to make them realize that this whole beach body shakeology thing isn't just like some passing phase, that it's something that you are becoming an expert on and something that they can trust you when they listen to you about. And also by making yourself well-rounded with those other things, um, it's going to make them realize, like, beach body Shakeology, yeah, they talk about it a lot, but, you know, she also talks about, like, beauty stuff a lot and about, like, the best vacuum for a large family, and we're going to be buying a home, and so I'm going to be hopefully posting a lot about decorating. That will kind of be, like, another um, niche I have, but you want people to listen. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Pinterest is your best friend when you're trying to figure out your brand, who you are, what fonts you like, um, what colors you like, um, what image you want to, you know, to put out there. Like, are you, like, messy mom, you know, or whatever with no makeup? Or, like, I see some, a lady sometimes that just makes, like, crazy face, like, in all of her pictures. And, like, do you want crazy face to be your brand? I mean, I do crazy really well, but... I try not to make it always crazy face. So it's your brand and then like your relaxed everyday, this is me. Because you also want to be vulnerable. We're not trying to be perfect.
like that doesn't that's unapproachable so perfect is totally not um, but make your imperfections um, part of your brand no whining no complaining no like telling someone off in some vague way in Facebook posts that's over no grumping you got a grump you grump to your family you grump to your team so that stuff's over so your brand one thing it's not is negative no negativity so you can let that go as one of the options I dance in my welcome videos to my coach that's kind of part of my brand it's like free-spirited dancing kind of crazy um, so yeah think about that I think once you get an idea of what your brand is you think about what where you like to shop what celebrities you like what music you like I think that really helps you understand who you are so that you can be that person in a consistent way.